Hello, football history fans. Um, today, we're going to cover the formations part of the football simulator. And uh, as I mentioned before, we're, we're going to go over each one of these sections in detail. We gave a high level view of the football simulator on the other videos. And um, again, most of these features that you see here are going to be in the game as well, uh, especially this one, Kit Cretan formations and, and modifying them. So without further ado, let's get into it. So what we do is we click on the formations tab right here. If we have formations already in here, which I believe I do, we'll hit view all formations. And again, we're working on this UI, so it'll probably will be a drop down here instead of these uh, no preview views. But um, if we go into these, uh, for instance, here's one uh, field goal play formation, we'll just do that. And we can either, I think, double click on it. And um, uh, double click doesn't work, but you, you can hit, um, you can click on it here and uh, you should be able to go into the formation. Um, there it goes. I, double click is not working very good, so we have to fix that. Uh, and here's the, uh, the field goal formation. So what you have here is you have your um, left guard, left, left tackle, uh, center, right guard, right tackle, tight end, so on and so forth. Um, and the way we make these formations, because the formations actually, once you create a formation, you can actually turn it into a play. So um, what I'll do is uh, you're, you're going to have formations that are going to be uh, that are going to come with the simulator and then you can kind of make them your own or you can just create your own from scratch. And again, this is going to be the American uh, football, um, but you'll be able to do the same thing when we do the uh, the other styles of play as well. But this simulator is right now basically for American football. So right here we have our holder and our kicker right here. These two actually go together. Once you put the holder down, the kicker actually will, when you put the kicker in place, it'll go with it. So the way you create a formation is, you basically, you'll, you'll start with, uh, let's, let's just go from scratch here, um, because this is an already created formation. You can edit this formation by hitting the edit button, and we'll show you that in a minute, but uh, let's just start from scratch here, uh, how a formation is created. So we'll just go back here and go to create a formation. And the good thing about our simulator is if you run seven on sevens, you can have seven uh, players on the field at a time, or you can put all 11 on there. It just depends on how you want the formation to be created. You can put two people on there, three, and so on and so forth. For this example, let's put 11 on here, and we'll call this um, uh, Cal's formation. And we'll do this. And then we want an offensive formation, or you can do a defense. If you click on defense, then it'll be a defensive formation, and we'll go into the defense repo. Uh, right now, we're going to put it in the offense repository, which is uh, what we're going to do here. And so we're going to make, uh, we hit offense here. You click it, it's green. And then you hit create. And then here you go. So what you're presented with is a bunch of blank uh, 11 players right here. And the way you get the titles of the players, and this actually works with the animation of the stance as well. So you have to have a center to uh, snap the ball. So I'm gonna zoom in here because we do have our uh, scroll wheel we can zoom here. As you can see, there's no players assigned at all. So I'm gonna start here with the center and I'm going to right click on the set on, and, and say change player. And then when you change the player, then we just add the center right there and then we are gonna go here to the next one and then let's just go change player, right click, and we're gonna make him the um, offensive guard. And as you can see here, then we'll just keep going on here, uh, change player, and then the, this comes up, then this will be the offensive tackle, or you can put left tackle. We have different abbreviations you can use. And then right here, gonna go right, change player. Uh, we're gonna go right guard here and then right click, change player, right tackle. And I'm just gonna go ahead and go through here and um, add some of the other players. So I'll put the quarterback and what I'll do is you can drag him, just slide him out here. And as you can see, these are all on some type of, um, they're on a um, calculated uh, grid and everything as well. So I'm just gonna add some receivers here. Let's go a Y receive, uh, a Y. Check here, and then we're gonna go Z. And then over here, we're gonna just change player and add a tailback. 
and change player here and we're gonna add a fullback. And I'm just gonna slide these guys out of the way. And then I'm gonna put a tight end on the end here. So there's my tight end. So now I've got the players almost like a Scrabble board here. So now I can start putting them where I want them. So, and I'll do some spacing here. So space them apart um, or I could put them on the hash, it doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna move them out of the way here. And then we'll have the right guard here, the right tackle here. And in some instances, what people do is uh, they'll put make a formation where it's on the center's number, which is staggered like this. And then they'll have the, the, the guards and the tackles right here. And then they'll make the formation like that. Put your tight end over here and then put, let's see, we'll put a receiver here and then we'll put a receiver on the hash. Quarterback can either go in a shotgun or under center. We're gonna put him under center here on this one, this example. And then we're gonna split the backs right here. So split the backs and put the tight end, bring him in right there. And then now that we've got our formation, I'll go ahead and move the quarterback up a little bit more and save it. And that's our formation. And that's how you create a formation in Football History uh, Simulator. Um, once you create these formations, they go into a repository. So if I go back to um, formations here and then view all formations, you'll see here Cal's formation. When you created a new formation, it'll have this little football up here letting you know it's a new formation that's been created. And there it is. And now I can use this formation to create a play. If I want to modify that formation, all I do is hit the modify button here and then uh, hit the edit button. And then I go ahead and you know, change whatever I want to change in that formation. That means I can come here and just click on a player and just move him over here and move this guy over here. Right now, we don't have the ability to group and drag like that. And that's one thing that I want to see added in there uh, at a later date. But, um, you know, you can actually do that. And then if I wanted a formation where I wanted to put uh, start it on this, the hash mark, we can do that. We can just set the center and slide them over to the hash mark um, like that and then start putting our rest of our offensive line in there like that. So then now, um, if I want to, um, we can view this formation in um, 3D. Now that we've, we've got it, I'll just go ahead and save that. And then I'll go to the 3D view. Oh, wow. And there's the formation. And um, Right now, it does, it's not going to run or anything because there's there's no play or routes assigned to the players, so they're not going to do anything. Um, but here is the formation that we have, and if we just look at it on the top-down view, we can see there's it's on the center's number, and there's all of our players. There's the um, the backfield right there. I believe what I did is I I may have no. There's the split backs. There they are right there. And there you go. And I'll give you some best practices later on as to you know what I think is the best to do the formation. But coaches know what they want to do and they know where they want their players. So they will put these guys wherever they feel that they should be, whether it's three yards away, four yards back, or however you know they're going to do that. And so that is uh, the formation creator right there. And we will be back with another video regarding um, how playbooks work.